And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. The Iranian summer, with its stepped-up patrols by morality police, seeking to ensure that Iranian women are dressed modestly, is over. But not so the attempts in Iran to control the lives of female Iranians. 36 of the country's universities recently announced new restrictions that bar women from 77 critical academic fields, including engineering and education. The move takes place in a country with the highest proportion of female to male undergraduates in the world. Yet it is also a country where gender discrimination is enshrined in law, particularly in cases dealing with crime, divorce, child custody and inheritance. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has said it is the impulse of extremists everywhere to control women. Try to strip their rights, curb their participation, limit their ability to make choices for themselves. But, she says, the societies established when these impulses hold sway are unstable and impoverished. Iranian women have played a pivotal role in Iranian civil society, educational accomplishment, and the struggle for all Iranians to express their universal human rights. A government that tries to constrain women demonstrates its own insecurity and fear and does so at the expense of the country's entire population and prosperity. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.